Hey, you're at Steve Tech Videos. In this episode, we're going to talk about uh, cylinder head and cylinder block resurfacing. Uh, first things first here, I'll get Dylan over here running the machine and uh, we'll roll this over. Now, the blocks need to go into uh, you know some form of a, a quality shop, whether it's ours or somebody else's, that's able, has good machinery that's going to be able to index your deck surfaces and believe it or not your deck surfaces everything is actually done off of the main saddle i'll point that out so right there that surface from both sides is what we actually indicate everything on and then the deck surfaces of the block are based off of that from 45 degrees off of each side of that so as we roll this back over After we indicate that in, it rolls up to our first deck surface to cut. Then rolls over perfect 90 degrees over to the other side. Now that's just your basic indexing, that's not a big deal. But what people are not understanding, and we do get a lot of calls about, is that if you can see here, this is a brand new dart block, all right? And if you probably not quite sure if you're able to see the surface finish, but uh, they are not final machined from dart if they don't resurface this um, you probably will be okay but it's not right it does not have the right surface finish every new block and every new set of cylinder heads uh, need to be resurfaced need to have a final surface finish put on them now what's the ra of the surface finish of a block or of the cylinder head um, I kind of forget the ra exact number uh, I believe it's somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, t uh, 10 to 15 right around there, but smooth. Uh, there's no gaskets any longer that need to have any type of rough surface finish. Any of the multi-layer steel gaskets or even the copper gaskets, we still make those things as smooth as possible. So we use a large cutter uh, like that right there with either a CBN or a PCD cutter depending on what material it is. You can just see that right there and that leaves an extremely nice fine finish flat square that's in the fixture but that's all in the machinery that you're gonna uh, be using to do that with but remember everything needs to be resurfaced stock blocks uh, and aftermarket race blocks need to be resurfaced now also uh, talking about like uh, uh, in the cylinder blocks uh, if it's aluminum cylinder block it's gonna have sleeves in it typically the sleeves protrude now you can look over here they don't protrude like this but they do protrude usually two to five thousandths above the deck surface all right and that helps to uh, pinch everything all together that protrusion up through the deck surface really embeds into the gasket but you can only do that with a copper gasket if you're gonna run a multi-layer steel gasket on an aluminum block, you're gonna to have to mill it flat. If we leave a copper gasket on it and do a hoop and O-ring program or hoop and receiver program, then you need to have those sleeves sticking up. And we'll cover in a future episode, we'll cover how to do receiver grooves in the block, how to do uh, hoops and the cylinder heads. But let's go over right now and we'll look at the cylinder head and I'll show you the difference in that and why we resurface the cylinder heads and what we're doing there. Now these are a set of cylinder heads that we had a customer send in in a complete engine. So we took the cylinder heads off and they're going through the engine for him. And we noticed what an atrociously bad surface finish this thing has. I mean, it is atrociously bad. This is after we cleaned it up. Um, not resurfaced it, but after we cleaned it up. So you'll see this a lot of times where, uh, I'll point to it here, where the uh, certain kind of cutters, somebody cut this and resurfaced it with, with either a dull tool or the wrong tool, and it tends to drag and cause a really, really poor surface. I mean, that thing is quite literally scratched up. So obviously what we wanna do is we wanna have a perfectly clean, perfectly flat surface. So the other head that was part of this package is already in the machine now we've already resurfaced this cylinder head and what we what uh, you would actually notice as we resurface this is 
it was high out here all along the outside and then all of the inside was actually low where all the bolts are at where actually all the pinching and clamping force is actually at was actually uh, low through here so I think I'd ended up taking uh, seven thousands off of this head just to make everything perfectly flat but that's what needs to happen and you can see this is a extremely nice uh, surface finish it's very uniform uh, right through here in the valve seat area it doesn't tend to drag or make a different looking surface finish uh, all of those things if, if, if your cylinder heads you get get back don't have a perfectly shiny perfectly flat uh, beautiful looking surface they're not really right uh, you need to do those again and uh, typically also you know if it, for every five thousandths or I think it's actually ten thousandths per cc I think typically a ten thousandths or so is going to be in that range of one cc maybe two cc's per combustion chamber that all different differentiates between what kind of cylinder head it is so there's no exact number for that you need to figure that out but in general, it's a right around there. And uh, we try to leave as much deck material on a cylinder head as possible because obviously uh, the thicker deck material holds gaskets better. And since we're making big boost and big power on everything, we want to have as thick a deck surface as possible. So we try not to have these things cut a whole lot. Uh, we just want to keep good material up there, make sure this is thick, make sure that you have a very good fine surface finish in that 10 RA area right around there. Make sure this stuff is flat. And uh, like I said, in one of the future episodes, we'll do how we actually do combustion chamber modifications to these for boosted applications. We'll show you exactly what that is and how uh, that works and how that changes the way the flame front crosses the combustion chamber. And we'll also show you how we do a one piece stainless steel hoop uh, in the cylinder head that's actually machined in here versus the old school wire uh, where it's just a piece of wire that's cut and you know, it's it's just not nearly as good as this one piece stainless steel hoops that we do So anyways, this is why we need to resurface cylinder heads resurface blocks because they don't come final surfaced from the manufacturer So always remember to do that make sure it stuff's flat and has as smooth a surface finish as possible So anyways, I'm Steve Morris Steve tech videos. Have a great day